15 Bizarre Sea Creatures. Welcome to Deep Sea Sundays. The Rat Tail Fish. This monstrosity has a head and an enormous mouth that surely can't be real. Just looking at it makes you feel like you're slipping into some kind of vortex. It can grow up to five feet long and it is real. Take a look at this picture. These fish live at depths of over 19,000 feet, from the Arctic to the Antarctic, so just a few have ever been caught. Scale worms, also known as polychaetes. These small but scary looking creatures live more than 3,200 feet below the water's surface, where it's too deep to receive sunlight. They're tough little animals, having evolved to survive the seabed's extreme cold temperatures and the heated water found near hydrothermal vents, where water temperatures can reach over 700 degrees Fahrenheit. The scale worm's most unique feature might be the way it eats its food, which is thought to be smaller creatures and bacteria. Their mouths actually turn inside out to catch their prey. Squat lobster. These animals resemble the head crab and can exist as deep as 16,000 feet below the ocean surface. Their compressed bodies have huge front claws, as you can see here. These crustaceans are almost always found near deep sea corals and are known to be scavengers or predators. Flabby whalefish. This fish has a lot of bright colors for a creature that lives so far below the ocean's surface. This picture displays an example of the flabby whalefish species and was caught off New Zealand's east coast at more than 1.3 miles underwater. But this fish family has actually been found even deeper, at depths of over 11,000 feet. The basket star. Pretty amazing patterns created by this marine invertebrate. Almost looks like a mass of seaweed, right? Now to catch prey, they'll coil the tendrils about the victims, usually small crustaceans or mollusks. Then the basket star will transport the food to its mouth, located underneath the central disc. Did you know that these marine animals can reproduce sexually or simply divide their bodies and regenerate themselves? Sea cucumber. These creatures have leathery skin and an elongated body, generally measuring up to 12 inches long. Sea cucumbers are usually found on the seafloor and many are collected for human consumption. Not because they taste like cucumbers though, they get that name because they resemble the fruit of the cucumber plant. Glowing Sucker Octopus Living in the North Atlantic Ocean at depths of more than 13,000 feet, this animal can light up its surroundings thanks to bioluminescence. This translucent shrimp-like animal was found in New Zealand in 2014. Despite the fact that you can see through the animal, scientists still don't know much about it. It's thought the creature could be a Salpa maxima, which are known to have gelatinous bodies and feed on phytoplankton. They're usually found in both temperate and in cold seas. Think you'd like one of these for a pet? The Dumbo Octopus. This animal gets its name because it looks like a Dumbo. You know, Walt Disney's Dumbo, the elephant whose ears were so big he could flap them and fly away? Well, this creature doesn't have ears, but it does have fins that it uses to flap its way across the ocean floor. They're known for the large eyes that are about one-third the width of their bell-shaped heads and are known to live 23,000 feet deep. Tonguefish. Species of tonguefish are usually found in tropical or some shallow estuaries. They tend to be survivors, as many of these animals have been located around hydrothermal vents which spew sulfur. Scientists aren't quite sure how they can survive such conditions. Did you notice that both of the tonguefish's eyes are located on one side of its head? The rhino chimera. A fisherman is holding a scary looking fish that is thought to be a full grown specimen of rhino chimera, an extremely rare fish that lives in the deep seas. The creature was caught 40 nautical miles south of Pamban, India in 2014. 
The rhino chimera is a genus of fish that comprises three species, the Africana, Atlantica, and Pacifica. They're believed to range from Asia to Africa, Europe, and North America. Napoleon Ross. Found in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, this is one of the largest reef fish found in those warm waters, measuring more than six feet in length. It's also known as the Maori Ross, due to the intricate blue-green facial design that resembles Maori war paint. The Squid Worm. Sounds like a great title for a horror movie, right? This is actually a new species discovered in the Coral Triangle, an area between Indonesia and the Philippines. The animal was found in 2007 at a depth of 1.8 miles by scientists using a remote-operated vehicle, or ROV. The squid worm earned its name due to the 10 appendages on its head, which are tentacle-shaped, and each of which are longer than its 3.5-inch body. Mola Mola, also known as the ocean sunfish. This animal can weigh an average of more than 2,200 pounds. Little surprise that it's earned a reputation as the heaviest known bony fish in the world. Resembling a fish head with tail, its body is laterally flattened, and you can tell that from the picture here. Over 10 feet in height and over 5 feet long, these fish can be as tall as they are long when their dorsal and ventral fins are extended. Despite their size, they pose no threat to humans. Sea Angel. They might be called sea angels, but they can be one devil of a predator. This animal is actually a predatory sea snail that makes its home in the deep waters of the Antarctic. See you next week on Deep Sea Sundays.